Hey everybody, David here with TND Sports Cards. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we are going to open a rack pack of 1990-91 Fleer basketball cards. Uh, this will be the first time we've done this on the channel, so this should be kind of cool. Uh, I know as far as big cards that we would be looking for, well, the, the Jordan base card, I believe, is the uh, the biggest card we could find. Uh, there's a nice Magic Johnson in here, too. Uh, as far as rookies go, I believe Vladi Divac is the biggest one that we could find. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice-looking set, so I uh, hope we'll find some uh, some other good uh, recognizable cards and uh, just have some fun with that. So without further ado, let's open these and see what we can find. All right. So we are going to start with Randy Brewer, who I actually do remember for the most part playing for the Bucks. And yeah, he actually had played for the Bucks all the way up until this point here. So um, he was a new addition to the uh, then brand new expansion team, the Minnesota Timberwolves. And Michael Adams, who we have uh, touched on in the past on the channel, was uh, one of the first really uh, prolific three-point shooters. Like that was uh, one of the big parts of his game. He was very, very fast um, and uh, used that to his advantage as well. But yeah, when he went to Denver, he really started uh, piling in the three-point shots. Uh, Nick Anderson of the Magic. Mookie Blaylock. This was actually before... Uh, I guess his, um, his bigger days in the league were... Uh, with the Atlanta Hawks, they had some pretty decent teams in the uh, early to mid '90s. Muggsy Bogues, he was fun to watch. Mark Allery, I believe he was out of Duke. He was a star at Duke, and he was a, uh, you know, basically like a like a solid uh, bench player for years in the league. Benoit Benjamin, who I don't think ever really lived up to what people thought he was going to be. Manute Bowl. Uh, I, I may have told this story in the past, but there was uh, a, a Knicks game that I went to, uh, you know, I, I want to say it was like around like 86, uh, which probably makes sense. He was with the Bullets then, and he was um, he was just draining three-pointer after three-pointer after three-pointer. This was about two hours before game time. He just had racks of balls, and he was just chucking them up from all over the place, and he was making, I don't know, probably about 70 to 80% of them. I remember my friends saying, like, you know, that guy's so tall. Like, why is he working on that stuff instead of, like, being on the inside? But, uh, you know, that was kind of like what his game evolved into. He was like a good long-distance shooter. All right, we have... Uh, Theodore, uh, otherwise known as Blue Edwards, who uh, was a pretty good player for the Jazz for a number of years. Vernon Maxwell. Kenny Smith, he was very good. He's been on TV for a really long time with, uh, with TBS, too. Or TNT. Uh, uh, whichever one is carrying basketball, I guess TNT for the most part during the regular season. Uh, but yeah, he was um, he was a solid player. He won uh, one, at least one title with the... With the um, uh, I'm sorry, the Rockets. Uh, I'm not sure if he was on both teams that won in 94 and 95. Johnny Dawkins, who was um, he was great in college and in the NBA, his game just really didn't translate for, for too long. Chuck Person, the Rifleman, uh, Reggie Lewis, um, rest in peace. He uh, unfortunately passed right in the middle of his career from a heart condition. And we have our aforementioned Larry Bird sticker. This is uh, in very, very nice shape. I'll put that one up over here. All right, so we didn't find anything terribly huge in that first cell. On to the next. Well, this would be huge if it said Seth on it, but uh, Del Curry was a very, 
very good player. He was a solid like six man, really good long range shooter. Um, I remember him actually being quite accurate as a long range shooter, and much like his son, who was uh, taken to two levels that most of us have uh, not seen. Uh, he did have a very solid career. Harvey Grant, the twin brother of Horace Grant. Ron Harper, we knew about him on our channel here, uh, who was kind enough to sign uh, a couple of our cards for us. Rod Higgins, Eric Lechner, Otis Thorpe, he was a very solid player. Dominique, all right, that's a nice one. I always like the shot in this card. It's a cool looking card. The uh, human highlight film. Percy Hawkins, he was pretty good, as was Detlef Shrimp. Robert Parrish, the chief, uh, in the Hall of Fame. Tim Perry, Trent Tucker, who... I mean, he, was, he had a pretty good career. He played for a while, but he was not worth the number one pick that was spent on him to draft him. I think he was drafted sixth overall in the 83 draft, I want to say. 82, sorry. Yeah, he really was not... You know, like I said, he was a good player, and I liked Trent Tucker. I didn't dislike him, you know, growing up as a Knicks fan. But uh, like I said, he was not worth the high draft pick that was used to take him. Dennis Rodman, one of the best rebounders ever. Cliff Robinson, and then yeah, we come across another Michael Thompson here, who, as we've mentioned, is the uh, the father of of Clay, who we hope to see play this year. Again, for collation here, we have an, another Otis Thorpe and another Dominique and another Hersey Hawkins, another Detlef Shrimp, another Robert Parrish. Right here, we change up some things. Uh, Mark Eaton. I, uh, I don't know if I've told this story. Uh, when I was young, I was at a Knicks jazz game and we used to get there very early um, one of uh, my friend, uh, my friend's dad was was very good friends with uh, uh, one of the uh, the box office managers, and he, if we were able to get to the game really early, he would let us in, and we could go right up to the court, and we could get pennants, and the guys would sign it. And uh, when I stood next to Mark Eaton, I mean, it, it was like being in the redwoods. I mean, I was just looking straight up at him. And I remember he had this really really mean look on his face, but after he signed it and handed it to me. He uh, he wished me and the Knicks luck, and I shook my hand and smiled. So that was pretty cool. Uh, Buck Johnson, uh, Moses Malone, Scott Brooks, who has uh, probably been more uh, known as a coach than he was uh, as a player. He, I mean, he played for a handful of seasons in the NBA. We have a, uh, a nice Reggie Miller here, a little off center, but good shot. Joe Klein. Eddie Johnson, Mark Jackson. I, can't, I mean, my, my, the whole time that I was a, f a fan of the Knicks, all through the 80s, I never wanted a player more than I wanted Mark Jackson. I watched the draft, and I was literally like praying that the Knicks would pick him because I was a big St. John's fan too. So, uh, you know, obviously he was a star coming out of there, and it was uh, it was very exciting when the Knicks drafted him. James Edwards, and our last card here is Byron Irvin. I don't really remember a whole lot about. Okay, so uh, we didn't find any of the really big ones. We got a couple of Dominiques. We had a few other um, uh, Hall of Famers mixed in there. We got this nice Larry Bird sticker. Uh, but you know, that was fun. You know, we had plenty more of these we will go through at some point down the road. Um, so I want to thank you guys for joining us. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It uh, obviously helps us build and uh, support the channel. We uh, greatly appreciate that. And uh, we will see you guys next again um, on Thursday. I'll probably do something hockey-related. Um, you know, the Islanders' first game is Thursday night, so uh, I'll probably be in the mood for something along the lines of that. All right, so uh, you know, enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and uh, thanks again for watching. Take care.